Governor Jerry Brown called off the state's historic drought emergency. Area farmers are still finding innovative ways to continue conserving water. This is part of a, you know, a, an important change. Um, you know, more than ever, we're all looking at how can we get the most out of every last drop of water. In one district, farmers are using a system known as drip tape irrigation, which has helped save millions of gallons of water. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton to show us how these local businesses are conserving water. When it comes to water conservation, area farmers are helping lead the way with innovative measures that go beyond the fields. Get it right to where it needs to be. Crews from GNS Farms in Brentwood have been quickly working to get one of its last fields planted before the rain moves in. The small family owned business is one of the companies leading the way towards water conservation. There's a big process to it checking leaks. Uh, you know, since we're irrigating less, but we're irrigating more frequent. We're constantly running our pumps. Farmers are using a drip tape irrigation system. It's underground and allows the crops to be specifically targeted in a much more efficient way. It also helps growers save a lot of water without ever damaging a crop. So we've implemented now we're 100% and we've seen uh, changes. The system takes a lot of time and hard work to install, but plays an important part in conserving water. Pumps are installed in every field along with filter systems. Farmers say they spent tens of thousands of dollars on the technology, which leaders with the Byron Bethany Irrigation District say is benefiting both farmers and nearby residents. The BBID supplies raw water uh, to the community of Mountain House, which is then treated and that, that's Mountain House's drinking water supply. Mountain House as well uh, continues to prioritize uh, saving water. Just recently, state water officials reported Californians are now using 18% more water than at the same time in 2017. That's nearly the same amount before the drought was declared. Farmers say they are still working on finding other ways to conserve. The farmers are certainly some of the most inventive folks around. And the district saved six and a half million gallons of water last year compared to 2014, all thanks to the changes growers have made.